Here's the thing. That story, which everyone now always forgets, is it's not like Carrigan chose to come. They just kicked him out of Astralis. By the way, his own team that he'd made with all those players. Like, and when they kicked him out, that thing is, though, if you're on the other side and you hear, like, oh, we can get Carrigan, like, that's an instant yes, right? That's like, yeah, bring him now. Bring him over immediately. And people don't know the story, dude. Didn't he join, like... He just basically like flew to Atlanta to come to E League, and then he just started playing E League season one and got through the group. Like, yeah, the, what, I don't think there even was like a boot camp or any sort of practice or something. Was there? Uh, there was definitely no boot camp, but I think maybe there was like two, three days of practice. Okay, because, because, still pretty like, wild. No, no, no I, I do remember some some crazy stuff happening in those practices. Like, I'm not going to go into details here because I don't want to call out someone. <laughs> <Okay>. but... <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think he was shocked about our mentality the first days. I, I'll give, I'll say as much as that because we were fucking, we were on the moon. <laughs> it was fucked up. And I, 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 like, when Kerrigan came in, at least that was the first time I would say that I played for a top team with a real leader and some fucking structure. I had a couple of good games, but I feel like I was I was just too much down mentally, confidence wise. I couldn't get myself out of it, you know. But I think, uh, I think I don't know. I, I always respect him a lot. I remember he was trying and... Yeah. I don't know. He was, he was good for us. And you can see, like, all the success he's had, of course, with FaZe. How would you describe his calling style? Because I think in your team especially is why he became famous. Because before, he had the Astralis call. He had really good players as well. And obviously, they did other... But with your team, because at the time, no one made international teams. Or at least, they weren't the best. It was always teams where it's like, this guy's from Norway, he's no other team. This guy's from yeah. Belgium, and he's not in the... Fr- in your team, like uh, people saw immediately, like his style's working. So, what was his style of calling? I think, uh, <laughs> like everyone thinks that you need to have like this insane amount of set, uh, uh, tactics and all these strats and all that. But he was like, of course, we had that as well. But he would just make them on the fly. Sometimes it was just twenty seconds of freeze time where he explained like five rolls, and it was just we have never heard about it before. But it was just a good call because he had a, a good vision of this would work, you know. So I remember what. I think I played with him for like three months maybe and it was very on the fly. I don't know if he still calls like very on the fly but what I remember it was like and I've never experienced it since. That's the thing. Like he, I think for, for me and all the IGLs I've had he has a very unique way of calling and uh, because like a lot of people you know they talk about it before the game in in round number three if we win pistol and antique we're going to do this uh, tactic it's set it's planned but he, I don't know I don't think he was ever like that with us. I don't know. I, I, uh, it has a very unique style, I would say. The other thing as well I've noticed that people now have picked up on when I pointed it out is he's so... You know, normally, I mean, I, some IGLs, even some really good ones, they are really like, right, we're going to work on this map as our home map. Once we've got that nailed, we're going to expand to the... Like, his whole shit's like, right, we're just going to start playing four or five immediately. And even in the veto, you know what? I might come back from that veto huddle and be like, yeah, boys, we're playing cop all this and that. You're like, what the fuck? What? I thought we were practicing Mirage. Like, is, it, is that what it's like to be with him? I don't, I don't hundred percent remember, but he definitely, we were definitely not just playing one map, you know, and focusing on that. We were, he was coming in and he was just like, he would just lead us on the fly in the start before we didn't, because we didn't have time to practice, as you said, like we were going straight into tournaments, and we just had full trust. Like I think he asked, I think he said, one of the first thing he said, like even if you think I make a shit call, I don't give a shit. You follow the call, you trust me hundred percent, because that's the only way we're gonna win together. Like. Because if we start questioning his calls, if we start like doubting or not following, then we're gonna lose, you know. Because I've, that that is just how basic CS is, you know. And uh, I don't, know, I think he asked for that, like never question my calls. And <laughs> okay, I, I, I kind of agree, you know. Like it's quite, it's quite cool to have someone say that. A lot of people give up the responsibility, right? You I want think, him to be like, I, do what I say. Yeah, uh, because I think we had like nothing set, you know. We had no like we had no time. And I think at that time, like if he called fucking B rush, he thinks it's a good call. We just rush B. Don't say like, ah, nah, that's not good, you know, like, if, because every player has had players in the team that has been like the one that kind of questions the caller. Of course. And, and then you then you start having, you know, internal issues in the team. And uh, I have, I don't think I've ever questioned any caller's call because it's his fucking job, you know, you listen to him. I don't know, I, I liked him. I, I think, I think. If I don't remember 100% wrong, though, like, I, I don't think I'm remembering wrong. I think I'm 100% right. But I remember that he was saying that. Just fucking listen to me. Want to see more cool, funny, interesting clips based on topics from my content? Well, subscribe to this channel then, or, you know, be a pleb and don't.